Hello, and welcome to episode 121 of my Worm Unlimited tutorial series. This episode will be on us building a kiln. So I've noticed that some more pottery items have been added to our wonderful worm, and I thought it would be logical to start by building a kiln. So here we are. The first thing to mention is, if you can, build it near clay, as it makes complete and utter sense, unlike myself. Anyway, so isn't it beautiful? It's winter in game at the moment, and it absolutely just looks beautiful. This is my favorite time, I think. Though it is difficult to see things on the ground, as y'all know, I do like winter though. Anyway, I thought I'd build my kiln. I was gonna build it on Rainstorm's Island, but um, she, it looks so neat and tidy there. I didn't wanna go and make a mess, because you know what I'm like. When I build something, I just plonk it down. And uh, everything over in her, we must do another um, tour of Rainstorm's Island because she's been doing an amazing amount of work on it and it's really looking lovely. Um, but anyway, so I didn't want to mess up Rainstorm's Island. I thought I'd just come and make another mess on my island. And I thought I'd put it near my port. Why not? Um, it'll sit very nicely just here on this clump of dirt, right next to the clay. So, okay, the description from Wormpedia regarding the kiln is a large kiln made from bricks with a clay inner lining and covered in dirt. The purpose is to fire clay items. So there we have it. That's a description from the wonderful Wormpedia on the kiln. Well, after building a guard tower many episodes ago, building anything else is a walk in the park, especially the kiln. The challenge will be... Um, not making the kiln, but how high we can imp the kiln. That will be my personal goal. Although, I'll tell you y'all now, when I build a forge or a kiln or anything like that, oven, I always aim for at least 50 quality. A minimum of 50 quality. Although, I'll tell you now, I do like to go to 70 quality if I can if I have the endurance, or if I can get into the imping zone, then I like to get them to quality level 70. Why? Because the quality level of the kiln affects both how long it stays lit and um, how long it takes to heat items up, just like the forge and just like the oven. So whenever you're building one of these structures, always try to get to a minimum of 50 quality um, but really try to get the 70 quality level. It always makes it better. To make a kiln, you will need a total of 20 stone bricks, 20 lumps of two kilograms of clay, and two dirt. So, let's start here. Let's bring up my inventory. And let's also open my large cart, which is hiding behind me, because I didn't want to block the your view. Okay, so we're going to need uh, stone bricks, clay and dirt. In order to start the kiln, you activate a stone brick and right click on another stone brick and go to create furnaces and there we have the kiln. We made a smelter previously, so this time it's going to be a kiln and let's place it just ahead of me. I actually didn't, really didn't want it there like that, covering, splattering over my clay. But in the true scheme of things, of how I lay things out, that really is how they end up. Splattered right in the wrong direction, in the wrong, completely wrong place to actually what I wanted them. I wonder if I can move it. Oh, I can, look, I can take it. Yay, cool. Right, let's move it over here because it looked a right mess there. Even by my standards, it looked a right m um, mess. Uh, forgive me walking into the derriere of my bison, but it's needed in order to get my kiln put where I want it. Let's try here. So let's drop it. 
Yeah, that's better. It's off the clay. All right, it's not perfect, but then nor am I. Anyway, so right, let's now see if we can. Yep, yeah, we can. Let's add it to the crafting window because we do love the wonderful crafting window. Okay, so here we are, and that's now showing us the items that we need. Notice we use two bricks to start it off. So we need 18 more bricks, 20 clay, and two dirt. So let's get the dirt out of the way because it's quite heavy and bogs me down. Um, oh, wait a minute. Being silly. Let's re add it. Bomb. Okay, and let's just continue. Ah, okay, it's a stone chisel. So let's put that there and continue. There we go. All's well that ends well. Right, that's the dirt done. Let's now do the clay. I don't even know what way this kiln's going to face. But it don't matter, I should be able to turn it. Let's just keep spamming this, why not? That'll get it built nice and quick. Yeah, so I thought we can take a look at some of the pottery items in the next episode. And in order to get there, I thought, well, let's make a kiln. Now, I don't want to use my best quality bricks. I want to use my lowest quality bricks. Because as you'll know, when you get to the imping, um, that's when you can worry about you, you don't have to worry about the quality of the bricks you're using because you can imp it up and to imp up the kiln is like the forge we're going to use um, masonry and a rock shard so not bricks so we don't need to use up my very good 67 quality bricks although to be honest they aren't that great are they 67 I'm sure most of you can get your bricks much higher than that Okay, again, let's spam the bricks in so it gets built nice and quick. Right, eight more. Okay, all the rest is 67, so it doesn't really matter now. Let's spam them in. Oh, first I need to add them. And there we go. There is a lovely kiln we will now be able to make some nice pottery items like the amphoras um, right it's facing towards the port the harbour um, but let's turn it if I can wow this is going to take some doing um, but Never mind, I am patient. Patience is a virtue. And one more. There we go. How lovely does that look? There's my lovely kiln. Right, let's check the quality level of it. Okay, 25 quality level. Here we go then. Let's see how high we can get this kiln in this episode. Like I say, I always aim for a minimum of 50, but if I can, I want to get to 70. So it says I need a rock shard to improve it. I'm also going to need my um, chisel. So let's see if I can find it. There's my stone chisel. So let's bring that to there and put the rock shard in there and I've got two hotkeys set so let's see if we can get this done you can hear me hammering the keys Okay, what are we at? 
43. Getting there. Of course, as well, the ben another benefit of getting your forge, your kiln, your oven, your smelter as high as you can, is that uh, when they rot, they will last much longer. You will have much more time to um, repair them before they completely break. And the higher quality you get any item in worm, um, the slower the damage is to it. Or at least the more time, the higher you quality you get it, the longer you have to repair it. I hope that makes sense. Not a lot I say does, but I hope that does. Okay, I think we should nearly be at 50. What you say we try and get to 70? Cora, remember um, years ago playing Worm Online, spending about 8 hours trying to get my forge up to uh, 40 quality level. That was a real grind. Uh, 60, so 10 more to go. What are we at now? 61. Oh yeah, still a fair way. Of course I won't be able to get to 70 because my rock shards are only quality 67. At least I don't think we can. Well, let's see. Something also to check is how much damage you're taking on your tool. Always bear that in mind and always remember to repair. There we go, that's better. You'll fail a lot more if you don't repair your tools as you go. Okay, what are we at now? 65, halfway there. As you can see, the higher you go, the harder it will get. Alright, that's as high as I can go. My rock shards are in too poor quality now, so I must be over 67. Yeah, there you go, look, 68. So, nearly at 70. Perhaps I'll come back with some higher quality um, rock shards. I know that I can get them much higher. But... With all of this imping, it's been improving my masonry. And look at that. Check that out. Check me out. Quality, um, level 80. So looking really cool with the masonry. Stone cutting as well is another very good one to get up, especially for making your stone bricks. And so I'm doing well with that too. Still, there we are. There is the kiln. Let's put all of these windows back let's step back a bit and there you can see shame my wagons in the way but nothing I can do about that and it's got a nice little chimney in it okay so there we go next episode we'll take a look at some of the nice new items that have been brought into the world of worm wherever you are in the world god bless you and keep every last one of you safe thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. And it'll be Christmas soon, won't it? So the weather's fitting. Goodbye.